This is the year of the electric pickup truck. By the time the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning goes into production later this year, it will already have competition from Ford's frenemy Rivian, in which Ford invested $500 million in 2019 and has an undisclosed stake in the company. The GMC Hummer is also slated for production this year, with the coming years bringing some certain competitors, the electric Chevy Silverado and others that are, shall we say, a little more subject to change from Tesla, Lordstone Motors, and Canoe, among others. Bollinger also says it will start production on the B2 pickup truck later this year, but we are betting that not too many truck buyers will be cross-shopping the F-150 and the $125,000 Bollinger. So, let's take a look at the two eminent competitors, the Rivian and the Hummer. Ford made much of the Lightning's acceleration, but even in the 563 horsepower guys, its claimed 0 to 60 miles per hour time in the mid 4 seconds range lags behind the Hummer and the R1T, both of which claim 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. The Ford offers 563 horsepower and 775 pound feet of torque with its extended range battery, with the standard battery bringing 426 horsepower and the same torque. GM is claiming 1,000 horsepower and about 1,000 pound-feet of torque for the Hummer and good thing since it also weighs more than 9,000 pounds. Rivian's truck will offer 754 horsepower from quad motors, while the Hummer uses three motors and the Ford two. The Lightning can tow up to 10,000 pounds and haul 1,800 pounds of payload with the long-range battery, 7,700 pounds and 2,000 pounds respectively with the standard battery, while the R1T is rated to tow 11,000 pounds. GM hasn't put a number on the Hummer's tow rating, but it ought to be more than either of these. All three are all-wheel drive, with the Hummer also adding four-wheel steering that enables grab mode. The R1T has a tank mode that's enabled by spinning its quad motors in opposite directions across the axles, while the Lightning, well, it can probably kick a nice power slide in the snow. As a matter of fact, it's hard to believe that we are describing the truck that does 0-60 to in mid-4 seconds as the slowest of any given trio, but that's where we are at at this point. Ford showed lots of range and charging stats for the Lightning without actually disclosing battery capacity, but they promised a 230 mile EPA rated range with the standard battery and 300 miles for the extended range one. GM says the Hummer's battery will offer 350 plus miles of range and Rivian's initial truck will deliver 300 plus miles, with the extended range models shooting for more than 400 miles of range. Ford will also offer 150 kilowatt DC fast charging that can bring the extended range battery from 15% to 80% charge in 41 minutes. More intriguing, a Ford home charger dubbed Ford Charger Station Pro essentially runs two level 2 chargers through one plug, with the truck having dual onboard chargers, thus vastly improving typical level 2 charge speed. Ford says that the bigger battery requires 19 hours on a 32 amp level 2 charger to go from 15% to 100% capacity, while the 80 amp charger drops that time to 8 hours. The Charge Station Pro, coupled with some other equipment on the home side, also allows the Lightning to be used as a backup generator, with the home drawing power from the truck. Ford figures that a Lightning could run a typical house drawing 30 kilowatt hours per day for 3 days or 10 days if power were rationed. GM hasn't announced a similar plan for the Hummer, but says it will be able to take advantage of 350 kilowatt DC fast charging by switching its battery pack from 400 volts to 800 volts for charging. At its quickest, that should allow it to add 100 miles of range in 10 minutes. It can also use lesser chargers, of course. Rivian is borrowing an idea from Tesla and building a fast charger network exclusively for its owners. The Rivian Adventure Network, as they call it, will initially offer 200 plus kilowatt charge rates, eventually moving beyond 300 kilowatts. The company plans to have more than 600 sites with 3,500 total chargers by the end of 2023. It says that charging for 20 minutes will add 140 miles of range on the R1T. Oh, and the network will be powered 100% by renewable energy and offer locations near cities and highways and in more remote locations where off-road adventures might be in store. As it turns out, the sameness of electric propulsion, everyone has a quiet motor that makes max torque at 0 RPM, is being more than offset by the blank canvas of packaging possibilities afforded by an EV powertrain. 
The R1T has a full width path through under the bed called the gear tunnel that can be used for storage or to house accessories, like a slide out camp kitchen. The first Rivians will have a panoramic roof, with next year bringing a removable open air roof option. There is an available power tonneau cover, an available air compressor, and a lock and cable that connects to the vehicle security system for stone gear. A gooseneck hinge on the tailgate expands the bed to 83.6 inches long when the tailgate is down, and there is lockable storage under the bed too. The Hummer has a front trunk that can be used to store the transparent panels of its skyroof. The front panel runs the width of the vehicle, but the rear is divided into left and right sides supported by a central support beam, bringing back the T-tops. The Hummer also has a power tunnel cover and power rear drop glass for the full open-air experience. The Lightning skew is more pragmatic, although its power-operated front lid will surely be a crowd-pleaser at tailgate parties. The front is also a drainable cooler and has 2.4 kilowatts worth of power outlets. Party Central up there or run some tools, total power output for Lariat and Platinum models is 9.6 kilowatts, with 7.6 kilowatts available from the bed. Both the Ford with its Blue Cruise and the Hummer with its Super Cruise will offer hands-free highway driving assistance. Rivian, however, hasn't said anything about that particular capability. The Ford Lightning will start at $42,000 for the base truck and climb to $55,000 for an XLT, $59,000 for the Lariat, and $70,000 for the Platinum. The only Hummer you will be able to buy this year will be the Edition 1 for $112,000. Later, much later, in 2024, there will be models priced as low as $79,900, but we also wouldn't be surprised if that number got adjusted upwards over the next two or three years. The Rivian R1T Launch Edition starts at $75,000 and is also the only one that will be available this year. Next year, we'll be bringing the Explorer for $67,500. The Max Pack battery adds $10,000, the Camp Kitchen is $5,000, it seems like it will be easy to price a Rivian into Hummer territory, but the Ford Lightning hues fairly close to the pricing of its gas counterparts. Since you can price a 5-liter gas F-150 4x4 Platinum beyond $70,000 without clicking all the options, so the electric version and the $7,500 federal tax credit it will enjoy, at least initially, is very aggressively priced. The F-150 is perpetually the best-selling vehicle in the US, and it certainly seems like Ford intends to claim the title in the EV sphere too. So, which one do you think is better? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on notifications for the latest car reviews and news. Take care, and see you in the next one.